Feral Gas Friday is brought to you by Feral Gas, your hometown propane provider in Ovid and Cander, New York. Another Feral Gas Friday, this time down here with Willie Dagno. Willie, uh, excellent weekend out there in Battle Creek. How's it feel to be back here in Elmira? Uh, it's feeling good, you know, a lot of the guys just went home for the Christmas break, but uh, I'm a little farther away, so I'm going to stick around here and uh, train this week and get ready for this weekend coming up. A huge weekend coming up, as you just mentioned, Delaware, Danbury twice, and Watertown, uh, the top of the division, really, when you look at it. Uh, what's the feeling going around right now? Is there some confidence building after this last weekend? Yeah, you know, we have. We won our last three games here, so we're on a little bit of a roll right now, and we want to keep that moving forward. Coming up to this weekend, we're playing two uh, pretty top teams in this league, so it's going to be pretty competitive, so we better bring our in-game and... Uh, <laughs> Before we get to the weekend, though, uh, obviously a great event happening tomorrow here at the First Arena as the Help the Less Fortunate event takes place. You players are, uh, are going to be serving food and everything. Uh, what did you think about when you heard about that event coming up here? It's awesome. It's always nice to give, uh, give out to people that have maybe a little bit less than we have. And whenever you can help, uh, help someone that needs a hand, especially around the holidays, it's uh, truly a good opportunity and it feels good to help you help the less fortunate. Well, you guys have uh, been had a pretty static schedule. It's two games in a weekend and uh, and you're done. But now you got four games in one weekend. What do you guys have to do especially with the break and not as much practice time? We just got to really mentally prepare ourselves for it and just make sure we're we're ready and make sure we can uh, have our bodies ready, hydrate, eat, eat the right food to make sure we're ready to do the full 60 minutes cuz that's what it's going to take to uh, win these games this weekend. Well, one of the fun things about Feral Gas Friday, I get to ask you guys about the town and how you're enjoying life in Elmira, obviously a little different than back home. Uh, what's your favorite part about living here in Elmira, and is there a spot you uh, you frequent around here? Uh, my favorite spot in Elmira is probably the rink, and uh, yeah, that's, that's probably it. <laughs> and what's it like living here in Elmira versus, you know, back home where, uh, where maybe it's a little different? Um... It's definitely a little different. It's a small town here. Um, I mean, I'm not from the biggest town myself, but it's definitely a little different. I'm from the West Coast. This is the East Coast, so they both have their advantages and disadvantages. A little chillier? Or? Yeah, it's a little chillier. <laughs> sure. All right. Well, before we wrap it up here, uh, I've been asking everybody on Feral Gas Friday, leading up to the holiday, and since we're just two days away, uh, a lot of Enforcers fans underneath the Christmas tree hoping for a championship ring this year. Yeah. What are you looking for under the tree? Championship ring would be good, just uh, maybe to keep my two front teeth for the rest of the season also would be awesome. So It's overrated, Willie. Yeah. All right, we'll be back here on YouTube with more Feral Gas Friday coming every week here on YouTube.com.